In the fitness industry, you'll find a lot of different people with different backgrounds and different ethics. The ones that are the worst are the ones that lie to you. And those are the ones that probably make the most money. <laughs> what am I saying? Not probably. That's actually a fact. We, the other day, I used to cover this guy, Dylan McNine, and he was definitely not bragging in any means. He was just informing us of this. Now, I'm making more money than I ever have in my entire Keep life. Keep that in mind, because what I'm about to tell you is, actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to react to someone that actually went in my comment section and said something about him that uh, I quite didn't believe. Someone that is so honest like that guy. Come on. Life. I made 10 grand off of YouTube alone last month. Making that much money? Come on. Scamming? Come on. Well, let's get right into it. You have left me with no choice. I gave you plenty of time. It's been over two weeks and you are not paying me for my job. He's a scammer. He has done a $190 scam with me. I All right. So we're already in 10 seconds of this beautiful video. And this person is calling Dylan McKnight a scammer. Uh, I saw the whole video and I'm just going to react to a little bit of the things that I think are important to know. We already know he's a liar because he lied to everyone. Also, he apparently cannot pay a hundred night dollars after I made 10 grand off of YouTube. Yeah. He said that, right? Wait, wait, let, let me hear that again. I made 10 grand off of YouTube. Yeah. That's a lot of money. You don't have a hundred night dollars. Hmm. Interesting. Are you lying about the 10,000 K? Hmm. Why would you lie about that? I don't know. Of his video and he is not paying me for that. Bro. <laughs> Yo. Hey guys, this guy's gonna roast him. Oh shit. Hey Hamza, I'm a video editor and I work for YouTubers and other social media content creators. So this video is really really important because I'm gonna address you that this guy, Dylan McKnight, is a scammer. You heard that Bro. right? He's a scammer. He has done a $190 scam. So apparently he has a lot of receipts. It's gonna show us all the text messages and everything that him and Dylan, Dylan, I'll talk about. I'm gonna make you the long search over again. I'm just gonna show you a little clips. This is a very entertaining video. Be sure to go watch this guy's video. On the top and it's his official email address. He replied me that he liked my one minute video and he's gonna give me a job. A job to edit his latest video, but the time is one day. He's saying me that it's a 10 minute video. I said I can edit that 10 minute video in one day. I will, I will sacrifice my sleep for one day. As you can see, he said me that so he's saying that Dylan and him went to an agreement that I'm going to make this video. You give me the, the role video and, and I'm going to edit it for you, for you to make the long story short. It was a 10 minute video that he wanted, but Dylan delivered this, gave him the material for him to start working on it hours, almost a day later. And he will deliver this video on Saturday morning, his time. And I have to deliver that on Sunday morning, his time. So it's a bit confusing, but don't worry. I'll address you that later. I asked him to get in touch with me on Instagram. So the real conversation begins from here. On 14th October, 2023, he replied me on Instagram that he is going to deliver me the raw footage in the next couple of hours. And guess what? He doesn't. It took almost 15, 14 to 15 hours for him to deliver that raw footage. You can see the time I'm sharing the screenshots. Dylan was supposed to give him the raw data, the raw video earlier than 15 hours. So that's when he ended up giving an editor the video to start working on it. Editing takes a lot of time. I do the editings myself, as you can see, look at the quality, right? Anyways, this is something that is very important for a lot of YouTubers. And mainly again, remember this guy, what did he say? He said, Life. I made 10 grand off of YouTube alone last month. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So he definitely has the money to outsource that stuff. Apparently, he doesn't have the money to pay this guy. I wonder how many more editors he, he has not gave the money that they were supposed to get. That's something that you, if you're in the comment section, if you are one of those, make sure to leave the comments. Let me know. This gotta stop. Like people like that cannot get away with this type of stuff. The reason why I'm making this video is for you, for, you know, give help this guy, give him some exposure. This video only got like 900 views. Obviously, that's understandable because uh, A, he's not a big YouTuber and B, you know, no one likes to, I guess, promote this kind of stuff. If you're a big channel, uh, you don't want to get into this kind of stuff. But since I'm just starting, I like to help as much as I can people that you know, get scammed by bigger YouTubers. That makes no sense. Come on, you got money. He was happy with my service and the real problem begins from here. He uploaded that video. He said me that how would I want to be paid? I said that PayPal is- You don't know exactly how you're going to get the money or how you're going to deliver money. 
you should not be working on anything because there has to be some, some sort of understanding, mainly if you're in both different countries, because what happens here is like Dylan has PayPal, but this guy cannot get PayPal in his country. That's a problem. You need to know that before you start working on it so you don't get scammed or in a situation that, hey, you already give me the, the stuff. Well, why should I pay you, right? What, what are you going to do? Make a video and expose me? I would believe that, oh, you know, this is this guy is a big YouTuber. He's not going to scam me. Here we are now. And not only that, the time that you spend on doing something, he could have easily spent that time doing something else. But because he was working for, you know, this big YouTuber, Dylan McKnight, the, at that point, when he worked on him, he didn't know he was a liar. Now we all know he lies. So here's the thing, guys. If you are going to make any business, I've been saying this for the past five minutes. If you're going to make any business with anyone, make sure to have an understanding on both ends. When am I going to get this product? How long am I going to be waiting for? How much is it? How am I going to pay you? Those are the simple things when you're doing businesses online. And in 2024, yes, 2024. It's very, very easy to, uh, you know, check if someone is legit or not. But me personally, I, I feel sad for this guy. Not sad, but, you know, I feel like, dude, like this guy's in it's another country getting scammed by, again, rich people, right? Nah, I'm not saying that Dylan is rich, but he does have a lot of money uh, because he does have how much? He has like, what, a thousand? Wait, no. Life. I made 10 grand off of YouTube alone last month. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's how much he makes. Anyways, uh, make sure to leave this guy a nice comment, watch his video, help him with his uh, engagement to see if uh, Dylan can finally give him his $190 that he's supposed to give. I, don't, I think it's 180 but he's going to settle for 180 I don't know. But if you are an editor and or, and or producer, make sure to do not work with Dylan because you'll probably have some issues. Unless you have PayPal and you get the money up front. Maybe that will help you. That's all I have for today. See ya.